So what interesting things do we have to talk about at your local New Jersey supermarket this month? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another m one of our monthly supermarket chats, discussions, news. Uh, no real news, uh, if that, whatever you consider news this month, but there's a couple things that I want to talk about that uh, I found interesting <clears throat> or that I might find uh, worthwhile sharing with you. Number one, uh, last month uh, there was this uh, big coupon in, uh, in the newspapers or whatever you want to call those rags of pointless press. But uh, there was a $15 uh, stop and shop coupon. Oh, you know, I think you had to spend $50 to get that discount. But that uh, equate, if you spend exactly $50, that equates to a 30% savings in your food. And we used it and it was a little bit uh, hard for me to find things that, you know, weren't uh, ex you know, extensively more expensive than where we normally shop. So, but we ended up using it. And I, I was wondering why uh, Stop and Shop in this area was looking to take either money from their competitors or to you know, give them a little more operating cash for their Stop and Shop division because it's part of a much bigger uh, corporation overall. And I, I really uh, believe that the Stop and Shop in this area is suffering financially for them to offer such a uh, substantial uh, deal. So I don't know what you think, but I, we went there. It was a one and done deal. There's really not much else I get at ShopRite. Uh, I mean, Stop and Shop, other than um, that butter. I think it was Kate's butter. It's, they're the only place now that I can get this really good butter made in Maine that has uh, sea salt in it instead of regular processed awful salt. So that's that. Speaking of salty things, uh, I just wanted to point out that this Leedy's bacon that they sell at ShopRite around here. Um, is something that you should probably keep your eye on and uh, buy them when you can because I don't know how long they're going to be at this $3.99 price um, which is about the equivalent of any other brand when it goes on sale and this is their everyday price and I find it to be the best tasting bacon uh, overall um, it's not with the fancy buzzwords and labels on it, such as some of the other <laughs> organic brands and all that, but it's, it's really the best bacon overall and best bang for the buck when it's not on sale. So keep an eye, if you could find it, I don't particularly like the maple one because it's, you know, it doubles the amount of sugar and it tastes good, but the maple one, I, uh, I'm not going to buy any more. And speaking of these buzzwords that bacon and other organic products like to use, uh, just looking through my own freezer of things that other people in our house like to buy, it's these buzzwords. I, I think they use focus groups and they try to figure out what um, lowers the defenses of a food customer most. And I think I pointed this out in the past about vitamins. You know, nature, 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 nature. Nature is in every single product name. As if nature is this perfect, poisonless, like utopia of food and products. Like, no, nature is dangerous. Uh, volcanoes are nature. Lead is found in nature. There's a lot of things found in nature that, um, that aren't good for you, but yet, like 90% of the products have to use that word. And it, I find it fascinating. Uh, I don't fall for it just because I see nature. I'm just go, okay, I'm going to buy it. Uh, no. But then there's another new one that they're using. It's simply, simple or simply, simply nature, nature, nim nature, simple simplicity. Uh, it's, I find it fascinating. Why do they have to use such buzzwords? Uh, is it that easy to win a customer? Maybe I should uh, change the name of my blog to simply New Jersey route 22.com and then I'll, you know, quadruple my low readership. Anyway, I just find it fascinating, the, the words in everything now. <laughs> All right, on to one specific product, two specific products here. It's these Corando meatballs. They're normally really cheap. We find them at ShopRite. And when they're on sale, they're like $3.49 a pound, which is pretty cheap. And I know it's not 100% meat. It's probably 80% meat and 20% other fillers and flavors. Um, I guess they're a good meal. They're low, low in carb, but I, I found that the flavor uh, and, and the overall texture wasn't very uh, good. But I'm just wondering how they can get away with selling it so cheap. 
what corners are they cutting and how can they make a profit? Uh, I'm, I'm just definitely not impressed with these things. I mean, I guess for somebody in a hurry and you need a quick thing to make that's other than your just same old meat every day. But uh, on a low carb keto diet, you usually don't think about food and need to be entertained orally like that um, so often. I think people who complicate their lives with you know, sophisticated foods end up being the ones, they raise the bar so high, they're bored every single day of their lives unless they have something you know, astonishingly fresh and new. I don't know, keep it simple and you're, you're well on your way to happiness. Same thing with these uh, sausages, these breakfast sausages. I see them so expensive at uh, ShopRite. I mean, compared to what I see, these Bob Evans brands and uh, Johnsonville, and they, they all seem to be made in the same exact factory because they're uh, all packaged identically. I don't know, I guess maybe the sausage robot, there's only one kind of sausage robot out there and they all make them the same way. But we found um, these exact same sausages over at Lidl in uh, Easton, I, it was either Easton or Union, I forget which one I went to, but the exact same sausage were a buck forty. And I, I could buy three packs of these sausages at Lidl uh, for the same price as these Bob Evans or Johnsonville sausages. And uh, they tasted, to me, identical. But uh, we have a future story coming up about uh, pork roll. I always thought that they're the same, but there are some differences worth mentioning and you'll see in a future video of ours that uh, something happened. I think a uh, fire alarm went off. I wonder why. I gotta go check it out. Have a good week ahead. <laughs>